It's so painful. Hey there guys and guyesses, welcome back to my channel The Tarative and thank you for stopping by. So I just want this to be a really quick intro clip and just to explain one or two things before rolling on the following clips. As you'll be able to tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video, something crazy and unexpected happened to my tongue and this video is all about what went down. I did film clips and take pictures as the situation was happening but I just want to pre-warn you before you continue watching this video, if you are squeamish and don't want to see me with a very swollen, very dribbly, drooly tongue and don't want to see me in pain or saying um a lot, then stop watching now. If not, I'm just going to be quiet and let the clips explain themselves. It's like 10 past four in the morning on Monday. And my tongue is a lot more swollen than it was um, over the last day or two. It's been swollen since Saturday morning. It's now Monday morning. I do also have a little bit of earache as well on my left ear. So I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, I've been trying to go back to sleep. I've been up for about half an hour, 40 minutes. So I woke up at about half three. Uh, I did a, some alcohol free mouthwash, not that much, in the little cap at the top, and then filled the rest with water. Because that seemed to help yesterday, or at least it made it feel more comfortable. But, um, yeah, it's not comfortable at all. This is what my tongue looks like. Oh. Even though it's really hard to do, the back of my tongue kind of where I guess it's attached to wherever it's attached it's very achy I'm going to move it and um, this is really really uncomfortable I can't talk very well in the last couple of days I found it quite hard to eat but yeah definitely when I looked in the mirror when I grew up uh, about half an hour ago my tongue was just a lot more swollen than it has been I don't know if you can tell but the jewellery that I'm wearing in it I've got my tongue stretched is getting to a point where it's not long enough if it swells anymore so if it does swell anymore i'll just have to take it out so uh, which is a pain but obviously if it helps my tongue then it helps my tongue so i thought i'd give you guys an update it's now about 10 to 9 um, in the morning and yeah i think i managed got to get to sleep about 4 30 ish and it was quite disturbed sleep when i'm producing saliva now it's actually really uncomfortable to swallow so i'm not surprised that i slept with my mouth open i woke up at seven and uh, that's when i kind of needed to get up for work and again my tongue still swollen still uncomfortable my left ear was actually aching a lot more and is still aching a lot more than it was i have been sipping water it has helped a bit, but every now and again it gets really, really uncomfortable to talk. It's not so much that my throat hurts. I'm grabbing a bit because as I swallow it's a little bit tender, but it's just more so my tongue. And yeah, my left ear is just aching quite a bit. I managed to phone the doctors at 8.30. The soonest appointment I had is 10 to 11. So yeah, we'll just uh, kill time until then. and Hopefully they'll know what it is. I'm assuming it's some kind of like a virus or maybe an infection. But I'm, I'm not sure, we'll just see. I'm going to uh, try and eat something for breakfast. I'm not sure entirely what. I might just end up having a smoothie, who knows. It's To be honest, the last couple of days, even though my tongue wasn't as bad as it is now, it was still uncomfortable and took quite a long time to eat. So I'm assuming now it's going to be just the same, if not even more uncomfortable. One thing I forgot to do was show you how swollen my tongue is. So yes, it is more swollen than it was about at about four. So this is what it looks like. Can kind of see the teeth marks and dents around my tongue that's because of how it's swollen it's just like pushing into my teeth so uh, yeah it's about 20 to 1 now so i went to the doctors and i explained my symptoms he had a look at my tongue he checked my ears temperature was all fine he said he couldn't really see anything in my ears that looked abnormal now with my tongue he wasn't really sure entirely what's caused it he's not sure if it's an infection or not he was leaning towards infection and so he said to be on the safe side he was going to give me a course of antibiotics so i'm trying hard to actually speak properly so you can understand me so i've got these things to take so i take them one tablet every 12 hours for the next five days and then hopefully 
that will help. I think the reason why he wanted to give me antibiotics, because even though he wasn't 100% sure it was infection, he wanted to give them to me in case it was, because if he didn't, and my tongue went septic, and obviously that does not look too good for him. So he thinks that's more likely than not what it is, but he wasn't entirely sure. So I'm just going to take those. I'm hoping that after kind of like 24 hours, I'll feel better. So it is now about quarter past four in the afternoon. It's been about four hours since I took the first tablet and this is what my tongue currently looks like. That was really uncomfortable. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's just getting worse. And also now, when I swallow, it's like the left side, all down here hurts. So I don't know if it's something progressing or, or if it's just the swelling. But you can see that around the jewellery, the back bit especially is just overlapping. So to be honest, I think if in the next hour it continues like this, you'll probably be able to tell it's a lot harder for me to talk right now. And I'm just going to have to take the jewellery out, which, you know, if it helps, that that's absolutely fine. Bit of a pain because I was only one millimetre off 10 millimetres, which is my goal size. Now, I don't think the initial swelling or anything has anything to do with the piercing, but if it makes it better, that's good. And I can always stretch up, so uh, stretch up again, so nothing to worry about. But yeah, definitely this side is just really more uncomfortable now, to be honest. And it's really hard <laughs> to swallow my saliva, and yeah, just one fat mess. So at about 4.20 I said to myself I would leave it about an hour if the swelling hadn't gone down or had gotten worse then I would remove the jewellery just because hopefully it will uh, help the swelling go down a little bit quicker. It is now 8.40 so 29 so a good four hours later and yeah the swelling to be honest is worse than it was. Not any better at all. As you can see it's still quite a struggle for me to talk. The jewellery, because it's quite flat, so it's got a flat disc on the bottom and top, the bottom bit is actually alright, it's not too bad, but the top bit, because the swelling, there's a mound of swelling behind it, it's trying to overlap, and therefore it's cutting my tongue more, in tongue more, therefore making the swelling probably worse, so we're just going to remove it. So I have washed my hands first, I'm going to wash my hands straight afterwards as well. Just before I do that, I'm going to get some toilet paper and put it on the ledge behind me, so when I remove it, I can just take it out. So this is probably going to look a little bit gross. I'm hoping it doesn't look too bad. To be honest, because my tongue is very swollen, I'm going to stare in the mirror behind me. It might be hard to actually just get a grip on the jewellery to start with, so we'll see.
all up on the side. <laughs> really. It's so painful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't even speak. It's ow. It was hard getting a grip on that. Oh, it's so painful. Sorry, <laughs> that's really disgusting. To be honest, actually the jewelry was quite clean. It was quite a bit harder to get out than I thought. It's got quite a long scrump. It was really hard getting a grip because of how swollen it was around the side. I think it's gonna get, oh, see I can barely speak. I think it's gonna get more swollen before it gets better. So I just want to say well done to those of you who've reached this far into the video. I know my tongue was pretty disgusting looking and I was feeling very sorry for myself at the time. So if you have managed to endure all those clips and videos of a rather fat tongue, then let me know by commenting whale tongue right now in the comments below. I'll be interested to see how many of you managed to get to this point in the video. So just before I end the video, I just want to update you guys. Those clips and photos were all from Monday, which is when it was happening and the situation went down it is now Thursday so three days and my tongue is definitely a lot better than it was I think it was definitely the right move and the right decision to remove the jewelry on Monday night as I do believe if I had woken up on Tuesday and I had to remove the jewelry I would have been dealing with a worse situation that already was I think my tongue would have completely swallowed up and embedded that tongue piercing jewelry and I would have had to have that surgically removed, which would not have been good at all. So I still have a few more days of antibiotics to take. At the moment, I still don't have any jewelry in my tongue piercing, and I can tell that the piercing has shrunk down. As to how much, I have no idea. I'm not going to attempt to find out how big the piercing is currently, by putting jewellery in until I finish the course of antibiotics and I'm definitely sure that all the swelling has gone down completely. I do not want to be premature in putting jewellery back in if it does irritate my tongue and make it back to the point where it was. So at the moment I have no idea what size it is. I don't think the hole will completely close by the time I try to put jewellery in but I do think it will have shrunk down probably to about four millimetres, maybe three, it might be five. Who knows? So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you found it interesting or informative. If you have any questions, then remember to leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. There will be more stretching videos from me in the next couple of weeks. Even though this has happened, I had stretched my tongue two more times since I posted the last stretching video and therefore I'll still share those with you guys. At the moment, I don't know what I'm going to do with my tongue from here on out, but I will more than likely not do an update video in the next couple of weeks to update you guys as to how I feel about it and if I'll be stretching in the future and what size my tongue piercing is right now or will be when I post that video. So thank you for watching, I'll stop rambling on now and I'll see you guys next week.